This canal is spanned by a bridge which is used by thousands of cars and cyclists every day and which opens to shipping traffic a few times a day. Upon inspection, the concrete of the bridge is found to be decaying. Uh -oh. What's more, traffic and water management has concluded that the control panel also needs to be replaced and major projects and maintenance has discovered that the bridge is suffering from metal fatigue. In other words, all departments provide information regarding engineering structures in our area. They share information relating to flaws, risks and opportunities. Clearly, Reichswaterstadt would prefer to replace every component all at once. But that's not always possible. Hmm. Reichswaterstadt also operates on a limited budget. What should we do now? The asset manager has to make an assessment. What are the risks? What are the wishes and needs of the stakeholders? What measures can be taken to achieve the best results? And are there permit requirements that come into play? He incorporates all of this into the risk-driven maintenance plan, which contains an assessment of the risks, costs and performance targets. An assessment is also made at the regional and national level, as any modifications to the bridge can have an impact on other structures in the region or even throughout the country. We combine these risks and performance targets with the needs of the customer and other stakeholders. We then submit this package to the implementation units. Alas, the budget and implementation capacity are both limited. The management at Reichswaterstadt has the final say in how best to reconcile potential tensions between performance, risks and costs. Reichswaterstadt delivers a report of realistic recommendations for the necessary activities. This report is translated into instructions for the implementation units. For example, we make agreements with traffic and water management regarding the opening hours of the bridge. We also instruct construction and maintenance to take precautionary measures addressing the risks in the area and to report on it. From inspection and formulation of the request and assignment to permit authorization, maintenance and monitoring, asset management impacts all Reichswaterstadt units. Construction begins only once the risks, time constraints, budget and performance targets have been considered. The bridge will once again be safe for use for years to come. This is how asset management contributes to the accessibility of networks and one Reichswaterstadt. If you would like to find out more, please visit reichswaterstadt.nl.